Hi, I'm Tina, Neomed's functional medicine practitioner and nutritionist. As many of you may know, my specialty is in thyroid health. And today I would specifically like to talk to you about breast implants and your thyroid health. Now, breast implants from the beginning of their invention seem to cause a lot of problems for many women. Um, there are two kinds. There's the silicone-based and then there is the saline-based um, implant. And when we see these two, they both cause a lot of problems equally for women. The silicone-based one can cause chemical toxicity because after a certain period of time, especially at that eight to 10 year mark, when you have them in, you can, the silicone can start to seep into other parts of the body. So you can get chemical toxicity, therefore increasing your total toxic burden. With the other implants that are saline-based, we see a lot of biotoxicity. So um, some research has found that you can actually get fungal or mold overgrowth in these saline implants, therefore causing things like hair loss, feeling cold uh, too often, uh, weight gain, feeling chronic fatigue all the time not, and not feeling so great. Do these things sound familiar? I think they do, right? Because any kind of toxic toxicity, whether it's from chemical or from uh, mold exposure or bacterial exposure, you are going to get an autoimmune response. And for people that are prone to getting this because they genetically have this predisposition to get an autoimmune response can definitely have breast implants as their root cause. So if this is kind of like ticking the boxes for you and something you've never really heard of or thought of that could be causing all your symptoms. If you're a thyroid patient and you're saying, you know, I eat right, my digestion is good, I've done detoxification protocols, and I still don't feel well, I still have chronic issues, breast implants may actually be the problem. And so if you're thinking this right now and you're saying, well, what can I do about it? Since I have my breast implants now, what can I do about it? You can actually remove your breast implants. However, you need to research and find a surgeon that's qualified in the safe removal of these breast implants so that there's no chemical spillage or, or bio spillage uh, into the rest of the body. So it's very important to find somebody that knows what they're doing. We do have a program here at Neomed that we can help you with this if you'd like more information on how to um, heal from breast implant illness, especially if it's hindering your thyroid function, please contact us here in Neuromed. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.